Okay, so we're back here. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Sorry, I don't know why, but my internet connection is not working well. It's no, no problem. I had issues at times. But okay, okay, so we're back here. Okay. Just in case someone has problems with um, with the connection, the link to the class on YouTube, the class is being broadcast on YouTube. So the link is in the chat box. So if you happen to leave the Zoom session, you can continue watching on YouTube, okay? Now, okay, so here I have, I have three pictures. <laughs> so, Osvaldo, what are, what are your group thoughts on my holiday? What happened? I was talking, so we were talking, oh, I was talking with Julius and also with, uh, let me see, with Paola, yeah, and when I was talking, my internet connection just get a trouble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but what I can see here in the picture is that you have a, a good breakfast, delicious breakfast, I mean, yeah, maybe you were with your wife, because let me see how many dishes you have your wife, maybe your, <laughs> maybe your, your son or your daughter, I don't know, but, yeah. or maybe you just were the two, you and your wife, <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Any other ideas? Maybe Judith? We talk that you spend uh, a weekend in a nice yeah. resorts and you have a good rest, uh, a restful day, a restful weekend, uh -huh. and you enjoy a uh, delicious breakfast and healthy breakfast. Okay. Yes. What happened after that? After that, maybe you come back you home and you come back at the at your reality life. <laughs> Look at the picture. Look at the picture. What happened after breakfast? Look at the picture. What happened after breakfast? Mm. Maybe you go to the wine museum <laughs> mm? <laughs> or something like that. The wine museum? Yeah, maybe. Okay. <laughs> All right. Any other ideas, Julio? Is uh, the Kabbalah wife? Okay. And what can you see in the picture? What what place is this? It's a museum. 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 Okay. What did I do in the museum? It is a play uh, where wine is fermented. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Did I go alone? We suppose that we that you went with um, your um, girlfriend or with your family. We okay. suppose, suppose that we enjoy it a lot uh -huh. because. It's so fun. This place is, is fun. This place is fun. Uh -huh. suppose. And um, um, you, I suppose, we suppose that you like a lot this place. Do you think the place was cold, hot? What about the We suppose that it's, it's hot. Hot. Why? <laughs> because after of this, in the picture number three, it was a wonderful day. It's so sunny. Mm -hmm. It's sunny day. And where was I? 
It is in the um, historical center. Okay. And what was I doing there? Mm -hmm. I don't know where is it to this place. <laughs> you don't maybe know. you maybe you were planning this class through this picture. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, uh, nice place to plan a class. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right, all right. As a, as a photographer, air photographer for uh -huh. the San Francisco Square. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Before I tell you the truth, there are some things that I would like you to notice. Uh, Osvaldo said, maybe you went with your wife. Why, why did he say maybe? And Osvaldo didn't say you went with your wife. Why did he use the word maybe? Any ideas? Exist, exist two positions for people. Two positions, two chairs. Chair for people, yes. Yeah. Okay. For two people are, only. There are two chairs. And who was the other person? We don't know exactly. Uh -huh. um, what did you do? Uh -huh. we, we use the, these expressions, maybe. Exactly. You don't know. So you look at the chairs, you look at the food, you look at the position of the objects and you start making assumptions. Yeah, but I, I pay attention about the, uh, here we have, I don't remember what, uh, this has a special name, but I don't remember the names of this backpack. Uh -huh. uh, I think that this is just for women. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you look, but you are not sure. No, that's what I say. Ah, yes, that's why, say, yes, perhaps that's maybe. Why, that's why you were making assumptions. Mm -hmm. yes, when teacher. you make assumptions, you are not sure. So use, you can use whatever you see to make assumptions. Now, is the holiday Present or past? Past. So past. I am making assumptions about the past. Right? So, Osvaldo says there are two chairs. So my assumption is you must have, must have gone there with your wife. Look at the sentence here. Teacher, one question is the making a subsum is in future. Uh, you can make assumptions about the future, but this moment we're che checking just assumptions about the past. All right. Only past. No, you can you can make assumptions about the future. But this moment we're making assumptions about the past. My holiday. Yes, this is a suggestion or advice or no? Assumption. Assumptions. Assumptions. Instead of saying I suppose, you make assumptions. Okay? To make assumptions means to suppose. So to make assumptions is the same 
is to false. I suppose you went with your wife, but I am not sure. So notice the sentence. You must have gone with your wife. Right? Is the sentence about the present or the past? Is the sentence about the present or about the past? You must have passed with your wife, correct. It's about the past. Mm -hmm. The did I go there with my wife? Yes, no, or not sure. Not sure. Not sure. Probably 90 or 99 percent sure. That's why I use must. There are two chairs. So there is a purse. So you must have gone with your wife. But again, I am not sure. Okay. So I am making an assumption about the past. Let me switch here. Now look at the, at, the, at the photo again. Hmm. What assumption can you make about this place? Was it a restaurant? Was it my house? Was it uh, in Quito? What do you think? The other thing about the place. Did I go to a restaurant? Did I have breakfast in my house? Mm, is a terrace of the restaurant. Are you completely sure? The place is at the terrace of the restaurant. It you must like have all there. Oh. Exactly. You. You must have gone okay. to a restaurant, right? You must have gone to a restaurant because that place does not look like a house, right? So is the sentence about the present or the past, Judith? About the past. Aha, did I go to a restaurant? Did I go to a restaurant? Not yes, sure. No, or not sure. Not sure. Not, not sure. sure. How sure? I'm not sure about that. How sure? 50% sure, 70% sure. 90, 99 percent. 50, 50. You know. 90, must, 99, sure. Must. Not, 90, 90, sure. You must have gone to a restaurant. So 90 percent sure, 99 percent sure. What about the, the place? Is it in Quito? 
Was it in the morning? Was it in the afternoon? In the evening? What do you think? What time did I go to the restaurant? In the morning. What time in the morning? It must have been in the morning. At 10 o'clock. Okay, it must have been. It must have been. At 10 in the morning. It must have been at 10 in the morning. Salome is the sentence about the present or the past? Past. And was it 10 in the morning? What? Was it 10 in the morning? What sentence? Uh, the one in red? Yes. It must have been at 10 in the morning. Is it uh, past? In past. Well, and was it was it at 10 in the morning? Was it at 10 in the morning that I go to the restaurant? Yes, no, not sure. Not sure. Correct. Not sure. Not sure. Not sure. 90 to 99 percent sure because I am using must. Okay. So notice the modal verb must expresses 90 to 99 percent sure. Look at the three sentences. You must have gone there with your wife. You must have gone to a restaurant. It must have been at 10 in the morning. So when I make assumptions in the past, what comes first? Osvaldo? The moral must. Aha, uh -huh. and after must? And after must. Has. The infinite. Has. Infinite. Has. Infinite. Has. Infinite. Has. Plus past participle. Have. Have has. No have has. Just have? have. Always have. Not this mm -hmm. yet. It yes. must, uh -huh. it must have been. Always it have. must have been. Aha. Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. you use the modal verb. You might have gone there with your wife. You could have gone there with your wife. You no. may have gone to a restaurant. It may have been 10 in the morning. So the modal plus. Uh, plus very past participle. The past part. Participle. Plus complement. Mm -hmm. So notice modal half and past participle. If you are 90 to 99% sure, we use must. If you are probably 70 to 80%, you use put. Okay. If you are 60 to 50% sure, you scan and then you are then than 40 percent less than 40 percent use may or might If you want to make notes, it's okay. Just remember that we are recording this session and you can watch it later. So the different models tell me how confident 
I feel with my assumption. Mm -hmm. I see two chairs, right? Teacher, I see two chairs, but there are two purses. One and two. Mm -hmm. What assumptions can you make about it? Who did I go to the restaurant? You must have gone to, with your family. Mm -hmm. Other assumptions? May. We can use may because we have 30% of... Of course. Tell me. Because we are not sure. Tell me, what is your assumption? We are not sure. So you may have you may have left the your bag okay your handbags okay on good. the table all right good good what time did I go to the restaurant you may have you been you may have been at at uh, at the restaurant, the breakfast at night in the morning. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, Paola, what, how much did I pay? How much? How much did I pay for the food? Yeah. Mm, you must have paid um, $20. Okay. Ligia, uh, how did I feel that day? You must have um, your delicious. And how did I feel on that day? Um, for, um, the participle of feel, what is the participle of feel? Felt. Felt. So felt. You must yeah. have felt. You must have felt. Um, Thank you. Happy. happy, okay. Happy, uh -huh. great. Uh, came. Mm -hmm. Good. Exciting. <laughs> All right. Okay, so making assumptions. Mm -hmm. Now, Interesting. forget about the assumptions. Ask me questions about my holiday. Look at the picture and ask. Vanessa. Okay, uh, uh, let's do this. I'm going to give you 30 seconds and try to think uh, as many questions as you can and then you can ask, all right? So 30 seconds, think about questions for me. What is the structure we have to use for questions if we use models? No question. No, no. Forget about models. I said forget about models. Now ask me questions. So are your questions present or past? Past. Aha. Uh -huh. What model do you, uh, what auxiliary do you have you to use this? Did, 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 did you did. go there with your family or with your yes. friends? Where did you? Aha. Uh -huh. WH questions. WH, okay. Your mic is okay if I said, may you have go? 
I said forget about assumptions. Okay. Did you did you spend a lot of money in the hotel? Uh yes, yes I did. I, I did. Okay. Think about WH questions. What, where, who? Um, how how much, much how much did you pay in the restaurant? Oh okay, I spent $90 there. Okay. Where did you go on weekend? I went to a restaurant called uh, Casa Gangotena. Teacher, how, how many, many days how many? did you? <laughs> how many days did you? How many days you spend on your holidays? Um, well, this was only one day. I only one day. I didn't stay in the hotel. I just went to a restaurant. Okay. Uh -huh. Who did you go? Uh, I went with my mom and my sister. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why did you go to this breakfast? Oh, because I had watched uh, an advertisement on TikTok uh, talking about this place. And so I decided to invite my mom and my sister for breakfast. Okay. How did you feel at restaurant? Oh, I, I felt incredibly nice. It was very elegant. Uh, and it is it was really worth it. The experience was great. Any other questions? How was the food? Excuse me, can you say it again? How was the food? Oh, the food was mouth-watering. Every single meal was better than the other. This is just part because it was a buffet restaurant uh, from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. So you could go and pick up fruit, yogurt, cookies, salads, and you could order food from the menu. I had something called encocado de camarón. So it's a shrimp and coconut sauce uh, powdered with um, this uh, pepper and green bananas, fried green bananas. So it was mouth watering. Great. <laughs> I loved it. I love the food. Any other question? Why did you like these restaurants and where you return? Uh, I went there yesterday, just in the morning. I went there because I had seen a recommendation on social media. Okay. Now. Again, let's make assumptions about the place. What can you see here? The place must have opened early. Okay, okay. That's a very good example. Now you have um, one minute to make assumptions about the place, the people, the weather, uh, the time, the feelings, everything, okay? One minute.
Okay. Let's listen to your assumptions. Vanessa, they want to try first. Uh, you could have gone to wine cellar. Okay, good. Ligia? Ligia? Maybe you or Osvaldo, whoever. <laughs> go ahead. Um, did you go to music at uh, the 10 o'clock? No, we are not asking questions. We're making assumptions. Um, uh -huh. What time did you? I'm uh, making assumptions. Okay. Um, what time was this? Teacher, maybe it must have been a wine factory. Okay, okay. So if you say it must have been at a factory, it is not necessary to say maybe. Because it must have been is an assumption. Or it might have been at a factory. Okay. Judith? You must have visited um, visited a museum. Okay, okay. In a minute, I will be answering your questions, so you will guess if your assumption was correct or not. And we have to talk about the restaurant too, because you you must have eaten a delicious food. Okay. Good. Oh, we are talking about this picture only. Oh, we're, we're just talking about this picture now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have one. Uh -huh. um, you may have taken, taken pictures of this beautiful place. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, it must have been a wonderful day. All right. Good. Osvaldo, any other assumption about this place? You must have gone to the factory. You must have? You must have gone to the factory. Okay, you must have gone to a factory. Okay, good. Salome, any other assumption? Did I go there? Um... You... You talk about, about pictures here? Sorry. Your sentence? What sentence? No. Where, you just, must have taken a nice pictures. Okay, you must have taken nice, nice pictures. Good. Good. Okay, now questions. Questions. Let's check if your assumptions were correct. So, what are your questions? With W questions with in the past? Of course, questions in past, WH. What is that? Where did you go? <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> well, I went to the museum, the, the museum. Where did you go? I went to the museum at San Francisco Church. What did you do in this place? Uh, I visited different areas in the museum. One of them, is this area here, which was the beer room. The, the phrase, a phrase a religious person, the phrase used to make their own beer so they, they couldn't leave the temple. So this place is the beer room and the pictures here show the process. Mm -hmm. See, this is a phrase making beer and they save the beer in these barrels. How was the weather teacher? Oh, it was cold. It Ooh. was cold. cold. Oh. Yeah, it was, although it was a really nice day, the temperature in this specific room was really cold. Who recommendates this place? Excuse me? Who recommended this place? You recommend. Recommend this place. 
Yes, absolutely. You should visit the museum. You will learn about religious arts. If you are into arts and you like museums, um, you will learn about the times of the colony, the different uh, sculptors, painters of the Escuela Quiteña. Uh, and you will definitely learn a lot about this community of uh, San Francisco de Asís. This place is only room beer or different liquors? No, this is a, a beer room, uh, but the beer room is part of the museum. Okay, so when you visit the- Where is, where is it located? Oh, the place is next to San Francisco Church in the old town. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. You go to San Francisco Church next to the main uh, atrium. There is a, an entrance there that says museums. Uh, and uh, then you can visit this wonderful place. I didn't visit. <laughs> you haven't visited? No, I haven't visited. Well, you should go. What about Thank this? Thank you, teacher, for your suggestion. <laughs> a pleasure. So, let's make assumptions first. Okay. It's a picture for the room. With, with the room, with the room? The roof. The roof of the San Francisco... Church? Church. Okay. You must have enjoyed um, a sunny day. Okay. Who took the picture? Maybe you, why you must have. It must have. Must have taken your wife. Your, your wife must have taken the, the photo? The picture. Okay. Good. Any other assumptions? You must look. Um, you must have looked happy. Okay. You must have been happy. <laughs> must have been happy. Okay. Well, I was not really happy. I was. Yeah. And we can say you <laughs> must have and be serious. You, or no. You mustn't. You mustn't. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. But I, I was not happy. Uh, I was really scared. <laughs> it was a really small place. And Why are you scared? I, I could fall. I could have fallen if I moved too much over there. Because so, are you with, are you with, with your wife, maybe? <laughs> so, let's see which of your assumptions were correct. As I said before, last yesterday morning, I went to Casa Gangotena restaurant. I visited the place with my sister and my mom. I invited them to have breakfast there because I had seen um, a recommendation on social media. The food there was mouth-watering. It was amazing. The service was the best. And um, although the place is not uh, uh, cheap, you would definitely enjoy the experience. It is really worth it. Um, after uh, I finished my breakfast, I went to San Francisco Museum and I visited different places at the museum. The different galleries were amazing. And one of the places that drew my attention was the beer room. In this room, the phrase, used to prepare their own beer and sell it, and also uh, drink it, which was surprising for me. I visited all other areas, uh, like the choir area near the roof. In that area, the singers uh, used to gather and sing religious songs while the, the Catholic service was in progress. There is a piano there, and I saw the, the one of the frays playing the piano. After that, I climbed up to the roof, and I had a beautiful view of the city, the old town. 
So you can see San Francisco Square at the, on the background. And I was not really uh, happy there. I mean, I was happy, but I was scared at the same time because as you can see, it was a very high place. And uh, I was like by the edge of the, of the roof. So I, I could have fallen, but my sister told me, come on, stay there and I'll take a picture of you. And she did. So it was not my wife. I don't have a wife. It was my, my sister who took the photo. And that's how I had a very nice uh, haul. Okay. So remember, today, in this part of the class, we practice making assumptions. How do we make assumptions in the past? Model plus half plus passport. This model must um, pass perfect. Uh, what models? What models? Mass could may 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 might can correct very good and may may and might aha very good very good and when I make assumptions am I completely sure about what happened about ninety. 99%. Not sure. Not sure. Correct. 1999 and going down. But I am never 100% sure. Okay. Can you see my screen now? Now we're going to complete uh, different activities. We're going, we made assumptions about the past. We're going to review grammar and vocabulary and practice writing by playing a game. Okay, so hopefully in the following minutes, we will have time to do it. Uh, let me share this link with you. You know what to do, right? You need to copy the link, open it, in download. Just give me a minute, please. All right. Okay, here is the link in the chat box. Please open the link. Ready? Okay. So in the first activity, you're gonna be working in pairs, but you submit the workshop individually, okay? So you're gonna use the link in activity A, a butcher bed breakout rooms so that you can work together. Osvaldo, are you sending a group activity or an individual activity? Group activity, please. Aha. Paola, is the submission individual or group of? Group. Not individual. Group teacher. The submission is? Individual. Individual. Okay. Individual. Yes, the activity is in group. Excuse me, teacher. Yeah, no problem. The activity is in group. The submission is individual. Individual, okay. All right, I'm going to... I'm just going to pause the recording. 
and go to breakout rooms so that you can work. Here. Did we have to work individually in this activity? Yes. Are you working individually in this activity, Salome? In group and submit individually. Very good. Okay, Judy. Let's go in breakout rooms, please.
Okay. Vanessa, was this first part easy, difficult? Kind? The first part? The, the first part was mm, easy. <laughs> It's okay. How about you, Judy? And I bought this in order in order to help. Oh, but was it easy? Was the activity easy, difficult? The difficult was the last one. Last one was difficult. But the first part? The first we answered for contest, but we were not sure about the answers. In the first part? Or yes. In the last one, I don't personally, I don't understand the meaning of some words. Okay, okay, okay. that's okay. But the for context. What is really important is that this first part. This first part is what we are studying. The second part is a little more challenging so that you get used to this type of section in the Cambridge exam, right? Mm -hmm. But first, Jay collected $2,000. What was the answer here? To help. 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 To help. That's it, to help. Infinity of purpose. There is a reservoirs these years. This, yeah. this year. So the answer is? Arpintent. Arpintent. <laughs> Correct. Mm -hmm. I'll build them. Present perfect. Good. So far, again, look at this expression. So far indicates a specific type of tense. And what's that? Absent. Exactly. Have sent. Okay. So, so far is always connected to the perfect. Present perfect. Correct. Okay. Next taxes have been imposed. In order to fit the national budget. Perfect. Samsung, last year. It realized, realized because released. it is fast, simple. Release. Release. Released. Correct. Because it is fast, simple. How do I know it's fast, simple? Last year, last year. Last year, three times ago, three days ago, yesterday. In this, this case, expression. last year, perfect. Last year. Mm -hmm. Here is the story about what? Some bull, the bull. Uh, the what's bull. the problem with this bull? Um, it was due to pride. <laughs> what was the problem for about this animal? He infect. <laughs> He is sick. The animal is sick. Sick. Uh -huh. Aha. Apparently, there is a problem with that. What's the problem? Is this in Ecuador? No. No. Where is it? It was in. Because the, this animal was sacred to Hindus or India. Mm -hmm. What does it mean that the animal was sacred? Say sacrificar. No, it's no. Well, in which country is this? Is this in Ecuador? No. No. no it is. Where is this? India. 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 And what happens with bulls and cows in India? They are considered they sacred. They are considered, they considered holy animals. Holy. Sacred animals. Yes. They are sacred animals, correct? That people respect these animals like God. Okay, Judy? And they want, some people want to kill this animal, other people don't. And this generates what? A conflict. Con conflict. conflict. Exactly. <laughs> The conflict. So, Shambo de Bull is at the center of a legal fight. Mm -hmm. Yes. Has been. 
he has been killed. Been. Mm -hmm. After a positive test for TB, an order was an order was made. made correct. Mm -hmm. An order was made for his slaughter. So somebody orders the animal to be killed in keeping with the law. However, the multi-faith community, people with different beliefs, a multi-faith community. What's the answer here? Where? Where, perfect. Where he lived, went to court to try to save him. In order, no, uh, as. As, as mm -hmm. it was a sacred animal to Hindus. A high court judge, judge said that the order to kill him was unlawful. Unlawful, not according to law. Law. Uh -huh. Unlawful. But the decision was overturned in the appeal court. Police had to be called, called in, and worshippers. Headphone. Correct. A human shield protection around the animal to stop him being taken away. 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 Good. Opinion is very divided on the issue. Some believe. Some believe. Wait a minute, please. Just a minute. I think Salome is having some problems. There it is. So, opinion is divided. Some believe that he was a to the national herd and needed to be killed. A danger. That's why they want to kill the animal. Opinion is divided though. So the other part of the community feel that religious principles. Mm, <laughs> it just beliefs. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is a colloquial. <laughs> this is a colloquial. Religious beliefs. Mm -hmm. Okay, we should always respect people's religious beliefs. I have a strong religious beliefs. This is a collocation. Should be respected and the community had offered to provide sufficient measures to ensure that he would not any infect. Other infect other animals. The animal is sick. So he can infect any other animals. If he contracted the disease as they plan to isolate him, the authorities cut the security fence. Remember that there was protection around the animal, right? A human shield. So the authorities cut Remember what happened in the protests when there are human shields, a lot of people protecting a place True. and the police correct. True. The police or the authorities cut through the security fence. So they open, cut through and let the ball away. The following morning, they announced that he had been a little injection, correct, given an injection. Mm -hmm. A debate on the issue is to end it's unlikely. unlikely to end with the death of Shambo and may widen into a debate. So is the story end here or continue? 
is this debate going to end with the death of Chambo? Trent. No, probably not. That's unlikely. Desafortunadamente, mm -hmm. unlikely. The debate is probably not. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, are you going to the party? Mm, uh, unlikely. 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 Probably not. The debate on the issue is unlikely to end with the death of Sambo. And my wife then into a debate about that. Of killing cows that test positive for TB. Policy. Yes. Policy, correct. And those are our answers. Okay. Very good job. I see many green colors here. I'm probably here at the end. Some problems, but that's all. Mm -hmm. okay, no problem. What's important is that you are doing well with present perfect, with, with um, infinitive of purpose. And uh, tomorrow we will play a writing game to continue with this practice. Mm -hmm. Not tomorrow, sorry, on Thursday. <laughs> yes. so, ladies, gentlemen, thank you very much for being here. It was really nice to see you all. And I'm looking forward to seeing you next class. Thank you, okay, teacher. teacher. Thank you very much. Bye. See you. Bye. Have a nice Bye, afternoon. Bye. 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 Bye.